Thank you, Chair. Uh, colleagues, this is my first text as a rapporteur uh, in human rights, and I have to say I'm very proud of it. Together with my great shadow reporter colleagues, we managed to put together an extensive but also ambitious set of recommendations that draws up a clear strategy for the Council and for the external services to follow. I believe the two main strengths uh, we have in this report uh, are its pragmatism, but also its complex approach. It is indeed a pragmatic text, because I am convinced that uh, the way to pursue a value-based EU foreign policy is not only through big words, but also through practical instruments. For instance, we should never forget that we are a market of 450 million people, and this gives us very concrete tools to promote our values across the globe. We can leverage our trade agreements, our financing programs, and our corporate value chains to promote our human rights and good governance all across the globe. And the other important message, I believe, is that global problems are interlinked, and we have to see them in their complexity. Take just the example of climate action, human rights, and anti-corruption. Communities all around the world suffer from polluted air, deforestation, polluted waters, and the very fact that it happens to them is an attack on their rights. But from the Philippines to Colombia, there is always a network of corruption in the background. Oligarchs, bribery, organized crime. We need to recognize these links so that we can step up to fight for the environment. And we need our mandatory due diligence law to make sure that no European companies are complicit in these crimes. Because the health of our planet also depends on the health of our democracies. And finally, this parliament stands with the activists, with the human rights defenders, with the investigative journalists worldwide who are on the forefront of the fight against kleptocracies. Designing programs to support them by all financial and legal means possible is one of the key priorities of this report. Thank you very much.